Hi, I'm Melanie Montero, pet travel and safety expert and author of the Safe Dog Handbook. Today we're going to talk about when and how to use a safety tether with a pet carrier. The safety tether is perhaps the most overlooked and underused feature of a pet carrier, and yet this simple device is one of its most critical features. The safety tether can help prevent your pet from jumping or wiggling out into potentially hazardous situations, but it's important to know when and how to use it. A safety tether should only be used with your pet's walking harness. Here's how to use a safety tether. Place your pet into the carrier with its leash attached to its walking harness. Attach the safety tether to the walking harness first and then remove the leash. Never unhook the leash before attaching the safety tether as this provides an ideal opportunity for a frightened pet to bolt away. When exiting the carrier, do the same steps in reverse. Let's look at some common scenarios when you should use a safety tether. The last thing you want is for your pet to get loose at the airport. When heading through the TSA checkpoint, you're required to remove your pet from its carrier for screening. The unfamiliar sights, sound, and smells can be very scary. At the vet's office, you don't want your pet jumping out when there could be an open door or unfamiliar animals nearby. Besides that, many vets love the controlled way they can approach a pet. When stopping for a bite to eat or quick errand, you'll want to prevent your pet from getting loose, especially if you open up the top to let him poke his head out. It only takes a split second for a pet to wiggle out, where he could run into the street or become lost. Never use the safety tether when your pet is restrained in a vehicle. Using a safety tether is so fast and easy, it's crazy to not take this extra safety measure, right? Safe travels!